is up everyone welcome back to the channel today um, as you see i'm just getting off work but i need to change the pc valve on the scion xb um, from what i'm told is that like i said i'm still learning about these cars i'm doing as much as i can to learn and i'm having fun doing it that's why i've been pretty much doing everything all my videos on this car um, but yes so these engines, I guess, are known for burning oil. Um, I'm keep up to it. This engine was actually replaced, so I don't know the true miles on this engine on this XB. Uh, but it noticed that it's been burning oil the last two weeks. So I just uh, added oil, and then I called up Randy from Auto Up Garage. He told me to get a PCV valve. So I'm on my way to go pick one up. It says it's $6.99. They have one in stock uh, from O'Reilly. So I'm going to go grab it right now. Change it out. I'll show you guys how to change a PCB valve. It's actually really easy. Um, so I, I've been looking on videos on YouTube and I was like, let's make a video that's like really, you know, make it easy for someone to understand that it's not a mechanic. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a driver. I love to drive. So that's why I work hell overtime and pay people to work on my cars because I don't want to work on them. I'd rather have someone work on it and I kick it and just drive the shit out of my cars. So, but like I said, I'm going to go and make a video on how to do the PCB valve. Um, for oil burning, I was told to do an oil catch can. My buddy, uh, Johnny, he's, he had an oil catch can for his... KA uh, turbo on his 240 uh, S14. So he said he's not using it. He's going to let me use his uh, catch can. So that works out great because I was shopping for catch cans and damn, they're not cheap, man. They're like for a good one, you're going to look at like 150 bucks max after shipping and taxes and everything. But I mean, you got to pay for quality. You got to pay to play. So, and I want this engine. This is, I'm not looking for performance. I'm looking for rear reliability because it's great on gas and I want this engine to last. I want to be able to drive this and commute this and drive all the way to Seattle with no problem from California. So I mean I do have some performance parts on here. I have a with DC intake and DC header um, and then I'll probably end up doing an exhaust once I do the body kit but that's simple bolt on nothing major but I'm not going to be fast. I already know that not trying to I just want to have a good stance and VIP but I need to make sure this engine lasts because oh my god that's a clean FB so oh man I, that's my favorite RX-7 FB all right so gonna head over to O'Reilly's grab the PCB valve we'll hit up on the driveway do the installation I'll show you guys how it's done and then I promise I'm gonna finish the wheel video on cleaning it so I'm just gonna clear my work desk um, I already made room in the garage and then I'm gonna start uh, cleaning these wheels so you guys can see all of them how they look kind of ways kind of burn uh, but yeah so let me go ahead and Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna concentrate and go get this piece of me valve I'll see you guys at home so I somewhat cleaned up a walking space to where I can work on my table um, this is still got to go through all this from the apartment. I don't know whenever we're going to do that. Um, but yes, the PCV valve is right here. This is a PCV 2344 microguard. Um, this picture is not what it actually looks like. Let me pull it out. I kind of need my table back. I got to change all that. A little R34 remote control car. Um, there we go, got it. It looks like this. So, so you can hear it smooth, it's not clogged. So it does not look like that. It looks like this. So and these are my work wheels that we'll be putting on the Integra. This is one of the VIP wheels I need to clean. And then I have some old school VIP wheels from the Q45. If you ever look at Junction Produce, these are 
I only got two of them. So technically these are my spare wheels for my drift car. So I just gotta get tires and slap those on when I go slide. But um, what we're looking at is, I believe the PCU valve is gonna be on this hose. I gotta pop the cover off to get to it. Catch can will be hooked up to this and then to the intake. And I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna mount it. So I might mount it somewhere here. So I wanted to run it over there, but I don't want to run the line so far away. So I might have to do something with this back bolt or figure out, I gotta figure out something. But I'm going to clear off my table so I can have a workspace. And then we'll uh, go ahead and install this. I'm gonna let the, actually let the engine cool off and then we'll get it going. So, but as you guys can see, that's it. Not that one. And then part number 2344. Alright, let me go clean up. Alright, so cleaned it up. I laid down the rubber mats. So slip proof and put it on the top as well. I just set those over there. I was kind of going through my tools to figure out what I'm going to use. And the biggest one for the PCV valve is actually this 3 4. So use this or I'm going to use this one. Um, but I got the 10 for take off the cover so I got the mount set up I'll put you guys on here and then start taking things apart so let me mount you guys up all right so I'm gonna take off the cover I'm gonna have to take that So your PCB valve is right there in the back of the valve cover. I'm going to take it off and check it and then um, we'll see the difference between the new one and the old one and how clogged this one is. So I'm just going to use this and then loosen it up. So let me take this off real quick and then we'll put it on the table and see the difference. But it is right there in the back. All right, let's do a little before and after. Old, new. So with the cameras over here. So you can see it's nice and clear in there. It already comes with the silicone to when I put it in the, on the threads. And this is the old one. As you can see, it is very, 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 let me get some light on here. Pop the cover off. That should help. So you can see it's very dirty, but you can hear the BB still, but it looks like it could be clogged. Well, technically, if you look in there, let's get some uh, I got five head in here, I can pick this stuff up. Here we go. So we got a little bit of Springs back though, but it looks dirty, so springs back, you can hear it. I mean if I look inside I can it's a lot of place, I mean I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's got to be bad, but it just has a lot of play, though. That's the thing. Huh. But at least we got a new one. No worries about that. So it's the right size. Three fourths. So we're going to go ahead and slap this back on. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's not too bad. If I get some brake part cleaner, I could probably salvage this, but $6.99, hey, why not? Let's put a new one in and hopefully that'll work. So, from old to new. But then, so you can. 
I don't know, I'm gonna play with this one. I'm gonna clean it up, soak it in some brake park cleaner. See what comes out of this. But yep, so I'll slap this one back on and we should be good to go. So just that simple bell cover is still warm. Check my plugs. Ah, this one right here. These are broken. Hmm. I don't like that. Alright. First time actually taking these off and checking them out. These look fine. So, Alright. Let me, uh, Pop the cover back on, PCB valve's good. So at least you guys know from when you're looking at the engine, take the cover off, it's right there. So, and if you have a tire bar, it might be a little pain in the butt to get to it, but it's possible. So let me go ahead and slap this cover back on. All right, so time to check it. We'll go ahead and start it. which I need to close the hood <laughs> or actually I'll just press this down and we'll start it okay. sounds good healthy sounds very healthy turn off I gotta check the oil now. So I'm gonna set my keys down. And then I gotta get some towels. I really hate these dipsticks, how they're orange. I gotta get an aftermarket one to get the metal one, give it better eating. So we're half on fuel, but I, our oil. But I just started, so I do, and I'm at the angle. But I know it is burning oil, so, so we're half. So, all right, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside, eat, take a shower, and then call it a day. So, the XB is. Doing good, we'll find out. Um, I'll probably add some oil later after I go check and then we'll um, drive it, see if it drops anymore. And then worst case scenario, when I get that one redone at Auto Garage, we'll double check and take this one in. So, like I said, I'm not a mechanic, I'm just a driver. And thanks for rocking with me guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.